What's going on guys, Zephnix here and right now I'm actually working pretty hard on uh you guys know I'm an actual developer here. I'm trying to you know working on developing game here. I'm actually working on right now on developing this game right here. So I'm actually working on a stage. So this one building actually this is like kinda like the stage isn't even done. It's just one building of a stage here. So right now I'm actually trying to go ahead and I'm putting together this actual window seal here. And it's ironically enough, I mean for the record I'm actually in um an Unreal Engine right here and honestly doing all this is exactly like in real life as long as you know how to do the shapes and whatnot it's pretty much like you know doing it like in real life basically for example say you wanted to go ahead and uh, make a room right so this would be a room now uh, say that you want to put some windows in or like up here for example any kind of window but this particular window is up here so what you would do is first of all you got to make a hole for the window so you got to find out how to make that hole for a window and, and I might do some tutorials for this eventually uh, and talk about this but yeah you got to put here right here so that's what I did put three holes right there and then what I did was I create the window outside first um, outside here and of course like in real life if you was going to make a window you would make it outside here and then you would put it in the window seal so uh, with the exception that you don't have to seal it up and stuff like that so right now um, I create the boxes here so if you look right here I'm actually um, putting together some last minute textures here so I'm actually using this walnut this worn walnut kind of look shape here uh, and that's for now. Uh, I might change to something else here, but right now, Warren Walnut is not too bad here. So I'm actually, and I gotta put the actual textures everywhere too. So up here. So what it is is that I um I ha went ahead and made this big old box, right? And right now I got after the big old box, I have four. I cut out four shapes right here. So I got four shapes. Four squares, if you will, and then in the squares, I know you can't really see it that well. You gotta look real closely, but there's actually a window in the, inside the squares. So basically, it's a it's a glass inside the squares to indicate of windows. So that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, so doing it right now. So I'm making everything wood here, and right now I have it on uh, on uh, non lit mode. Basically, what that means is that. Uh, everything is it's called unlit now basically what that means is that it's not working off real-time lighting and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like in real-time lighting when I finish this uh, in fact I'll do it right now so this makes everything lit it doesn't worry about the lighting in here and that's actually the light source right there it's actually nothing right now but I wanted to go ahead and put something in here to indicate the light source so when I put it on lit mode so this is actually how the window is going to look so see how it actually looks uh, pretty decent here it's like a wooden window um, and that's what I'm going to look up for now. I might change the textures to something else eventually. Uh, but right now, I have it set as a wooden window right here. So, and as you see right there, the light source, this is actually the light source right here. Um, of course, I could make like a lamp or whatever here to make it indicate of a light, but I just, just a floating light point. doesn't really matter. And I can actually go ahead and check out how this looks. So what I like to do is uh, I'll go ahead and take this. And I'll move it down here. And as you see right there, it kind of guides the shadows here. So it allows me to see it at uh, multiple perspectives here. And this is how the actual textures will look here. Keep in mind the lighting is not built 100% yet. I would have to rebuild the lighting. So I'm going to look at it from the other end here. See how it looks here. So this is how it looks from the back over here. And it is just like if you were doing, and like in real life, if, if you was in a room, in a dark room, and you had like a flashlight or something like that, and you're flat, you know, showing that, it actually would show it here. So... There you go. If you look over here too, just something right here. This um, right here, this text right here says preview. The reason why it only says preview right there though is because of the fact that the shadows. Uh, the reality of it is, is that I don't have the light built 100% yet. And I don't want it built 100%. I'll, I'll do that when I finish. So, anyway. So that's the one I have right now. Uh, I might go ahead and kind of rebuild the textures later on to indicate uh, something else here. But so far that's it. So... bring the light up a little here I like the light kind of shining above here so anyway like I said for uh oh I was like what the hell are those lights those lights indicate <laughs> I know those lines rather those lines actually indicate uh uh how far the light source I have the light source selected so it's indicating how far the light source will travel before it fades out so I have it out there pretty far here to kind of reach the entire room right here. It'll change up. Like um, what I do is I'm change the light source. It's white right now, and there's no such thing as a white light source. So I'm gonna change it like a yellow, little dimish yellow, a little bit and stuff like that here. Um, so that's pretty much this. 
So there's a couple of things I got to make here too, uh, like a shelf, uh, shelves and stuff like that. There's a lot of things I got to go ahead and work on here. But uh, so far, this is actually the first step of the two first steps here. So this is the actual room. And I can go ahead and texture the room if I damn near wanted to, but I'm not. Um, why am I not going to texture the room? Because why? I'll do it later. <laughs> Pretty much it here. I wanted to go ahead and uh, create the window first. That's very important for me to create the window here. And uh, the reason why is because of the fact that you wanted to look, uh, if you look here too, it's low. Like I said, you can get this close and see how good the textures look. This is Unreal Engine. So, you know, you already know it's going to look pretty damn good. So, uh, uh oh, hold on one second here. Where is, oh, there it is. It's not low enough. So, I want to go ahead and check under here, too. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. So, yeah, so this is a very, pretty much this is just the first step into making a level right here, and I'm actually working on a level right here. I've been working on this one window seal just to kind of give you a. Um, I've been working on this one window seal for about an hour. That's how, I mean, it, take that in perspective for a second about how long it takes to make a level. Uh, this one window seal, which really consists of um, one box. Uh, one big box and then four smaller boxes, uh, same shape, same shape, four smaller boxes, uh, and I put it in reverse here. So like, in, okay, so it's one big box, <laughs> and then it's four smaller boxes that uh, I cut out here, and then on top of that, I replace the smaller boxes with glass. You would think that 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 sounds easy, and I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but uh, for me, it took about an hour to go ahead and do here, and this is about the finished product right here. So I actually can go ahead and put it inside the actual um, window seals later on. They're all the same size, so it'll fit exactly. Uh, am I going to put it in right now? No. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sit, kind of let it sit for a little bit and kind of uh, take a look at it and see if I'm actually missing anything. Oops, save now. So, do see. I'm going to go ahead and make sure. So I keep everything in a folder here. I'm a really uh, stickler about that. So, uh See, select immediate children. So, ah, oh, right, 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 right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot I put uh, I put these these boxes out here. I actually added them to the window part. I shouldn't have done that. So, and I got I got I kind of forgot how to go ahead and kind of attach it. So. <laughs> I want to create like the whole window part. So what I can do is, let me see. Okay, I have to do it this way. So this is actually the wireframe version of it. So this is actually the entire uh, part. This is the side of the actual um, area here. This is the entire window. The side of it, side, side. So remember I told you about those boxes? Uh, here it is right here. The boxes are abnormally big and they really shouldn't be that big here. This is not the glass. This is actually just a just a hole in a box to make the box look uh, to make it feel like there's a hole in there. So if I was to move this little box, you really can't see it, but see how it kind of closed up? That's because um, that box in there, that box that I have in there actually is designed to go ahead and make it look like there's an actual hole in there. And then what I do is I just put glass in there after that. So it's it's annoying right now, but uh, let me see here. Okay, so I'm going to take all four openings. Okay, so what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, no, i got to do it here. Take all four openings, because these are just the openings, and I need to go ahead and kind of make them smaller. Here we go. Here we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the move one right here. Click here and make sure that everything. Ah, uh, nope. I did it only. I'm missing one part. See how it's not all the way through. So. I need to go ahead and select them again. Think if I there we go. And it 
just dawned on me. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm working. I'm on the right side. I'm about to say I'm, I'm on the wrong side. No, I'm, not, I'm actually on the right side. I made it too small. So, here we go. There we go. It's a little smaller than what it was. So, you know, the boxes are still the same, but I just wanted to make the uh, that area a little smaller. It, it, was a, it, was a, it wasn't really anything that important, but I, I kind of wanted to do it anyway. So anyway, that's pretty much it for now. Just a little something, something to show you. Oh, wait. Actually, I think I missed something. Actually, I think I did. Hold on. Move mode. And uh, you know what? F it. Unlit mode. Here we go. Okay. So there we go. I knew I missed something. So we got. I got some size to do here. So I can just simply place the texture on there, and bang, it shows up. And check the bottom here. I didn't do the bottom. No, nope, no, nope, nope. go back, go back, go back. I missed it. There we go. What I did was I actually textured the wrong thing. I either textured the glass or the box in there. I think the glass I textured. So it kind of got messed up for a second there. But I just redid it. So there you go. Uh, and then look at it from a bottom perspective. Look at it from a side perspective, other side perspective. And all right, it is fully textured. So that's it from there. And I can go ahead and just, if I want to, see how it looks in natural as natural lighting as you can get in a video game and there you go so that's the window seal anyway so i'm done uh, just doing that just for fun um you guys have a good night zaf out